Eight richest beggars. Rambai, an old woman living in the streets of Kamim, Andhra Pradesh, India was found having nearly 80,000 rupees cash in a cloth bag. Interesting thing is, she had nearly 10 to 15,000 coins in that bag. When she was begging in the streets, a thief snatched her money bag and ran away. She started shouting and police chased the thief. Fed up thief, threw the bag and ran away. After recovering the bag, Police counted the money and found 80,000 cash, for their surprise. Police had a hard time in counting that money with so much of coins. It is said that she has collected this money by begging for years. Sarvesha Devi, from Padna is among the most famous female beggars in the country. She's got a comfortable home behind Ashok Cinemas in Padna and her daughter is married and well settled. She's made smart investments and pays rupees 36,000 annually as insurance premium. It's a fun traveling on trains free of cost. I board any train and beg till I reach my destination. Says Sarvesha laughing aloud. Haji, 26 year old begs near temples and mosques in Dina and Kember, Mumbai. His family business is run by his mother and sister who owns, a Zari workshop, where they have employed 15 workers. He has assets worth rupees 15 lakh, earning a daily wage of 1,000 to 2,000 rupees. Masa or Malana, this 60-year-old, beggar begs for a living and gets a daily wage of 1,000 to 1,500. His workplace is at La Handwella in front of high energy restaurants, most of his clientele being drunk film stars. He takes an auto rickshaw to his begging spot, changes into beggar clothes and works really hard for 8 hours and then rides an auto back home. He owns a one bedroom flat, west of Mumbai and another nearby. He owns property worth 30 lakhs and other savings he won't disclose. Sam Baji Gale, with his family of four, begs in the car region of Mumbai, and earns around a 1,000 to 1,500 a day. He owns a flat in Virar and two houses and a piece of land in Salapur. He has also made some investments worth thousands and around half a lock in the bank. Krishna Kumar Jeet, is another amazing young venture holder. Krishna's favorite begging spot is CP Tank near Charney Road in Mumbai. He earns around 1500 to 2000 a day and owns a flat at Nalasapura, where he lives with his brother. He stays away from the money matters though. His brother handles all his money, he says. Papu Kumar, a handy kept beggar has four bank accounts and property worth rupees 1 crore or 25 lakhs and he begs in Padna every day. Once an aspiring engineer, an accident crippled him permanently. But he inherited family property, which he sold to buy new property. Then, years ago, he realized that his fractured left hand and leg could be pity material for begging. Which is why he's found every day on the Padna railway station platform being regularly shooed away by the Railway Protection Force personnel. In fact, his Kroerpati status was revealed when the RPF took him into custody in a beggar removal drive, and found his four ATM cards, with a 5 lakh cash balance. On more investigation, he revealed that he'd loaned rupees 10 lakh to small local traders at high interest rates. But couldn't he afford getting treated? If I am cured, how will I continue begging? is how he justified it. Bharat Jain, a 49-year-old family man with an entrepreneurial outlook. He mostly works out of the Peril region of Mumbai, where he owns two apartments valued at around 70 lakhs. However, early morning shifts and long work hours do not allow him to visit his place more than once a week. Apart from this, he has rented out a shop to a juice center and collects rupees 10,000 as monthly rent. He successfully begs around rupees 75,000 every month, 
and is really passionate about his work. His family runs a business that deals in study material and school notebooks and has asked Bharat to give up his begging career, but Bharat would just not listen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.